Okay, so today I'm going to try to register the bus. Uh, I've got all of the requirements for it to qualify as a motorhome. Up until recently, uh, you've needed to have a state patrol inspection, so I've been kind of preparing for that for the last four years, just about. Um, I came here back in 2015 and they turned me away because my conversion wasn't done yet. Now the conversion is done. I have the original certificate for title, the original bill of sale, and some information about how to register a motorhome, but things have changed since I printed this out. So I'm gonna go into the vehicle licensing office and see what they tell me. All right, I'm back from talking to them. Um, they were unaware of the, the change for the state patrol, so they asked me to go get a Washington state patrol person to sign off on this inspection request um, and then I've got I have to get a scale weight uh, they wouldn't take the the weight that was listed on the little tag in the bus so I have to go to a, an actual scale I asked them where it is it's actually pretty close to here but in order to do that I had to get a moving permit so this permit allows me to for the next three days drive the bus, which will be the first time in like three or four years that I've actually driven the bus off my property. So uh, I'm kind of excited and nervous about that. It hasn't really moved that much. I've been starting the engine here and there, but I have to get it out of my yard first off. That's going to be like a 20 point turn and then uh, take it down to get weighed and then uh, park it. <laughs> uh, it's going to be real fun getting it out of that driveway. So it was $30 to do the scale weight, uh, or rather to get a permit so I can move the bus to go get the scale weight. This is what the permit looks like. I need to uh, block out three days from today, and that is when, how long this, this permit is uh, valid for, and uh, fill out all of this licensing information, and then I think I have to post it somewhere in the bus in order for it to be valid. So, I'm gonna do that now, and then I'm gonna prepare the bus for moving. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered as soon as possible. I have a, uh, a school bus that I've converted into a motorhome that I'd like to register as a motorhome. Okay. Uh, I was told that I might need to get a state patrol inspection. Is that still the case? Not necessarily, because it kind of depends on the history of the school bus. Okay. So, uh, to change the use type, okay, which is basically what you're doing, because you're taking a school bus out of circulation as a school bus into an RV or motorhome. Mm -hmm. So... When you do that, basically it's a certificate of fact, okay, that validates that this has been converted, okay, and now qualifies as an RV. That's something you do in an office with us. Depending on the history behind the school bus will determine whether or not we need to do a VIN inspection or not. Okay. Uh, so if I send, submit a c certificate of fact saying that it's been converted into a motor home, that should be enough? Unless. Right, and then it just basically doesn't qualify for a motor home. It's got to have a uh, permanent dwelling space. It's got to have um, either a cooking station that's permanently fixed or a uh, sanitary disposal system. Okay, cool. I've got all that. So um, would I just need to bring, like, photos to prove that, or is the, the certificate of fact enough? The certificate of fact is enough. Um, I do recommend, just because I'm one of those, like, particular people for paperwork. Yeah. Everything that you've basically done to convert it, like any kind of paperwork trail that you have, make sure you keep that. Yeah. Okay. okay in I've... a file somewhere, just for record keeping purposes. It never hurts. Cool. Yeah, I have a, a re expense report and a whole bunch of receipts, so. Great. Okay, then the answer is it's relatively simple to change the type. Okay, we do that on a regular basis. A lot of people do this. So the answer is you just fill out a certificate of fact validating that it meets 
the requirements to be considered a recreational vehicle, and you will not be using it for commercial purposes. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, wh which office would I be bringing this uh, the request into? Because I, I assume I have to be there in person to do the registration and all that. Yes. Yeah, so uh, if you don't mind asking, what county are you in? I'm in King County. I'm I live in South Seattle. South Seattle. Okay. So there's a couple of options. You would basically go to a local tab office. Okay. Okay. Where you normally go to register your vehicle. All of them are basically created equal. You don't need to go to a special auditor or anything like that. You can go to a local vehicle licensing office, which is the one you normally process your tabs at. Okay. Sounds good. All right. I, All I think right. that's it. Thank you. No, no. Anything else I can do for you? Nope. That's it. Thanks. All right. Hope you have a great day. You too. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Well... I have a certificate of fact sheet. No, uh, I have a certificate of fact sheet, and so I have to say that I am taking this vehicle out of circulation as a commercial vehicle, and it is now being used as a private motorhome. All right, so this is my filled out certificate of fact that in my handwriting says this vehicle meets the requirements to be considered a recreational vehicle and will not be used for commercial purposes. And that apparently is all I need. I'm clearing out all the tools that have been left inside the uh, drawers here, putting them into these totes, which are gonna go down into the basement and be out of the way before we sort everything and put it back. All right, so to get ready to move, I put this cap on that I got at the hardware store. Uh, I removed the chimney that went up about three more feet and then just cinched this on with the uh, screwdriver. It's nice and tight, not coming off. So now I should be safe to drive. First time we've taken the bus out in four years. Eric's on lookout. Make sure we don't run into the neighbor's fence. They change the requirements. I think it makes yeah. it a lot easier. Yeah. And I was kind of looking forward to seeing the impressed faces of the state patrol. Everyone looks good so far. The empty driveway looks really weird. Oh, look. It's just nice to have a different view. 
Yeah. No, it's just the. F I don't know. A different block. Alright, so I have pulled the bus out from behind the house and it's parked on the street and I waited. I had some stuff that I had to do, but now we are taking the bus to go get Wade. The bus hasn't driven in about four years, so I'm a little worried about breakdowns, but we have roadside assistance with Big Sam Club just in case and we're really not going that far. So, wish us luck. This is a lot earlier than I thought I was going to be driving the bus, but wish us luck. So I got the scoop from the guy. This is a self-serve uh, scale. So I moved the bus onto the scale. And then I use this little station here. Right here. Now I go pay. Front axle, we've got 7,560 pounds. The back axle, 13,040. Or the other way around, I'm not entirely sure. So, I have my weight, which is something I needed for registration, so we can now go back home. But, I'm gonna stop somewhere to get propane for my, my setup, uh, since I'm out and can do that. Might save you some hassle later. Careful on the corners. Okay, so day two of trying to get the bus registered. Um, I went back to the same place where I went yesterday same registration office. I told them that I did not need a state patrol inspection, that all I needed was a certificate of fact that says that I have converted the bus into a recreational vehicle. It meets all the requirements of the definition of a recreational vehicle and uh, it will no longer be used for commercial purposes. Um, she was a little unsure about it. She went and con confirmed with her supervisor they gave the okay. Um, I also gave them the scale weight, uh, bill of sale, and certificate of title, the, the transfer title, which um, I think it's already been transferred because I bought it from a dealership, but not entirely sure. Uh, so it is re-registered now as a um, motorhome. So I got my registration. I also got license plates with registration tabs, so now I have to start paying taxes. Uh, next step is insurance. Okay, so the bus is all registered. I have my tabs. I wanted to talk about what, how much I had to pay really quick. She surprisingly did not charge me a late fee. I was expecting that I was going to have to pay like $400 in late fees, but... Um, because I think it's like after 60 days, you get charged $2 a day up to a certain amount. Uh, and it's been almost four years that, since I bought the thing. So my bill was $339.13. Um, registration and filing $3. Title filing $4. Plate reflectivity $4. Plate replacement $20 plus tax. Um, RV sanitary disposal, which I assume is for those um, uh, pump out stations, $3. Vehicle weight, $35, uh, which again was 20,000 something pounds. 
change of class was $1. Uh, license plate technology, $0.25. Cents. Department of licensing, $0.50. Cents. Abandoned RV disposal, $6. Guys, don't abandon your RVs. It's costing me money. Registration license, $30. Transportation benefit distribution, $80. No idea what that is. Title service fee, $20. Registration service fee, $5. RTA excise tax, $28. Use tax, $21. Out-of-state vehicle check, $15, because I guess my bus is from North Dakota. Emergency medical services, uh, $650. And vehicle title application, $15. All that stuff, plus a, a credit card fee, comes out to $339.13. Um, not a bad price. Uh, she could have charged me late fees. She didn't. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> <laughs> okay so i just had a conversation with my insurance agent i only answered the questions that he asked which were what was the make of the of the uh the motor home what was the size of the motor home and what was the estimated value i just kind of threw a number out there and uh then I just kind of shut up and let him do his thing, and I am getting insurance. It was actually extremely easy. So it'll be around 300 what did I say? $380 a year, um, which gets me liability and, co and collision plus uh, towing, although I've got roadside assistance with Sam's Club. So I think that's it. I'm just waiting for the insurance stuff to come through, and... Uh, done i am road legal just gotta well once i put the plates on what you doing today putting my license plates on <laughs> <laughs>